What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So we actually have some potentially good news for about 332 million people and I want to explain in today's video why a bad jobs report coming this Friday is potentially a good thing. So make sure you stick around for that. Now here's what we know. For the first time since the initial lockdowns back in March of 2020, we're actually seeing companies both big and small pull back on hiring. And many of these companies are simply cutting jobs. And I know what you're thinking, how in the world is this good news? Well, it is, there's a, there's a silver lining here in certain instances. Here's what we know. What we heard over a year ago is that companies were gonna just be pulling away from growth. They're gonna stop hiring, they're gonna stop giving raises, they're, right? they're gonna stop doing all those things, stop reinvesting back into their company they were gonna move more towards sustainability. And today we are seeing companies cut both open positions, which we have record numbers of, and they're cutting filled jobs in order to focus on profitability. That's key. Now, this is usually a sign of a recession. In all cases, this is normally what happens. Companies move away from investing in their company, they pull back, they stop hiring, then they do mass layoffs. That's a sign of a recession. But according to economists, they believe this is exactly what the Federal Reserve is wanting. Right now with more than 10 million open positions, experts say that we can afford for our labor market to cool down, for our labor market to soften. The Federal Reserve, they're actually gonna look at this as a positive sign that raising rates has been working to control inflation. Because when they're raising rates and then we start to see hiring slow down, wages are now, or the wage growth is somewhat stopping, right? It's moderating. That's good news for the Federal Reserve during inflationary times, which we are in. We currently have a CPI of 8.3%. That has to come down. Now, not only has the Federal Reserve been, or not only do they believe that their raising rates has been working to control inflation, not only that, but what we are seeing now is more of a, of a normalization in our economy. So because of that, many economists believe that we are on the right track and on the right side of a recession. But here's what you need to understand. This Friday, we are going to see the monthly jobs report from the Labor Department. This is gonna happen Friday morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And in most cases, seeing a bad jobs report is a sign of trouble. That's never what we wanna see. But in this particular instance, seeing less hiring, seeing less wage gains, would be a positive sign for an overheating economy. And according to economists, some economists were surveyed by Bloomberg, they are estimating that 325,000 jobs were created in May. Now, this number would be the least amount that we have seen since, I believe, April, it's either April or May of 2021, but again, this is considered a positive sign for inflation. And then you factor in wage gains. This was once considered the biggest worry. I remember I, I was doing multiple videos on this. This was considered the biggest worry because we were very close to seeing a wage price spiral in the beginning of the year. Now, for those of you that are new or uh, maybe you missed some of those videos, a wage price spiral is simply where the price of a product goes up, right? Let's say the price of rent, uh, gas, food, it goes up. So in order to uh, you know, help with that, employers would give a, a wage increase, okay? So they would give, let's say a four or five, 6% wage increase. But then now employees have more money, so they spend more money, they buy more things, well, eventually that pushes up the price of those products again. And then the wages have to come up, then the price of products and the wages go up, and it just keeps spiraling out of control. There was a worry that we were potentially gonna see that. Well, a couple months ago, 
we saw that that was not the case. So that was good news. Now, the reason why I bring all this up is for one main reason. The American people are struggling to keep up with bills, food, gas, and pretty much any expense due to the rising prices. Do, and again, the, the rates are unsustainable to their overall income. Think about it. If, if we do not have a wage price spiral where the price of product goes up, wages go up, products, wages, and it just keeps going back and forth, what happens is the price of the product goes up, wages stay the same, it's unsustainable, so guess what? The price of the product has to come back down. So now we're seeing it disinflation. That's key. That's what the Federal Reserve is looking to do. So if things work out the way that the Federal Reserve is expecting, then this could be a huge win for over 330 million Americans. This could not only uh, help with inflation, this could prevent the housing market from a 20 to 40% decline. We could keep the stock market from completely crashing more than it already has. We could keep Americans in their homes or in their apartments. We can keep uh, people's credit scores from completely dropping because they're missing payments on credit cards and car loans and, and auto and you know, home loans. We could see the economy suffer for just a little bit, which I think everybody's suffering right now, but we could see the economy suffer for just a little bit and then completely bounce back. That's what the Federal Reserve is planning to do or expecting is a soft landing. Things are, we get, we get impacted for just a little bit and then we bounce back and are better than ever. That's what they're expecting. Now, do I think that's going to happen? I think there's a, a better chance now, but it all comes down to Friday. Do we see a good jobs report where there's, there's just ample hiring, where wages are just you know, through the roof? And I think wages are up like 5.9% uh, year over year or something like that. Ridiculous amount. Now, again, I think the American people will need to get paid more, especially with what we're seeing now with rising prices. But if all the prices decide to fall back down, that's where things could be a little more normal. So that's what we're seeing at this time. And, and I understand a bad jobs report is usually not considered a good thing. But in this case, a bad jobs report is not considered bad at this point. This is something that the Federal Reserve is looking at. To the American people, they're like, oh, you know, we got very few jobs. Right? People are suffering. There's still millions of people that are unemployed, and there are. But here's the thing. There's still millions of people that are unemployed, but there's still over 10 million jobs that are available. The only difference is, are those employers willing to hire the people that are sitting pretty much on the sideline waiting for a call? In some cases, no. Because in many cases, what we have been seeing, our employers are looking for top-notch employees to pay them very little. That's what we're seeing. So again, we will see what happens this coming Friday. As always, I will be here every step of the way. Again, just wanna thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.